Yo, f- f- yo, man, I'm just gonna jump right into this, man. Jeezy versus Gucci, man. The shit went down, man. It was crazy, man. Super, super crazy, man. Super fire, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. Both artists definitely did their thing. Definitely it was a win for the culture, for the whole game, Atlanta, all that, man. It was a fire-ass battle. Definitely, like I said before, the best battle they ever had so far. I put this, and then right after this, I put the Snoop versus DMX, because this was, well, you could probably put them at the top, man, because this was a real good, intense battle, man, right here, but let me just go ahead and let y'all know this now, man, Jeezy won easy, man, Jeezy won easy, man, no problem, Jeezy had way more hits, way more anthems, way more hood bangers, Gucci Man was playing a lot of diss songs, a lot of shit nobody never heard before, and man, Gucci Man must have played, must have about, felt like, like, damn, that 10, 10, 15 songs were just features, songs that wasn't even really his, man. They had Drake verse playing and shit, OJ the Juice Man playing and shit, Lil Wayne, Migos playing, literally playing they verses. They, they're part of the song, like Gucci up there um, rapping and do, perform his um his turn of, uh, of the verses battle, man. Those are, those are not his voice. And they had those plans like that was his voice, man. So that was, that's like automatic disqualification right there. He even played like a regular, they didn't even have his drop on there, man. Like, Jeezy was playing original shit, them original, them hits. Going in with the shit, man. And, and Gucci man tried to get tough, he brought it in. He brought it the battle in off rip with this songs and shit, man. But they ain't shake Jeezy, man. Jeezy on this whole grown man shit. Had an album come out that, that night. Dropped a video with Rick Ross that night, man. Killing shit, man. Make sure y'all go check that out, man. Um, Jeezy versus Rick Ross, man. The Black Dollar. The shit fire. Um, Jeezy new album out, The Recession 2. The shit fire, man. Got that shit on repeat right now, man. And Jeezy coming off of a super good weekend, man. New album out. He just smashed Gucci. Killed that shit, man. But it was a good, it was a great battle, man. Everybody was in that motherfucker chilling, smoking, drinking, talking shit. And just pretty much watching two legends go in it, man. Like I said before, man, never been a Gucci man fan at all, man. I always think he was one of the worst rappers of all time. But I definitely, um, recognize the fact that he, um, a down south trap legend, man. You gotta put his head on that trap, on that, um, trap, um, Mount Rushmore for sure, man, for real. I ain't gonna lie on that, but other than that, man, it was a fire-ass battle, man. A lot of intensity in the room. Um, Gucci Man performed the song, on um, The Truth. Didn't shake Jeezy up at all. Jeezy got up. You know, they was talking a little shit. Jeezy got up, said his piece, then threw on that, I'm the realest nigga in it. You already know, got trap of the year four times in a row. What they give, man? Jeezy killed that shit, man. If you look at the masses, all the real important people that was watching in on all the important people that's in hip-hop and the follow all the, the, the important media and all that, they all got Jeezy winning easy, man. Same thing I got, man. But I love how they ended it off with the So Icy shit, man. Jeezy was really on his grown man shit. You know, fuck all that little boy shit. Jeezy was killing shit. Jeezy, um, Gucci man was talking about how much his outfit cost and shit. Looking like he about to do a split or something. Real amateur, Gucci disrespected the dead, just talking hella goofy shit. But Jeezy maintained his composure, did his thing, was on his grown man shit. And then another thing, man, DJ, um, Jeezy, um, DJ was killing that shit, man. He he made the battle, man. Him, he was, man, him and Jeezy was, man, the way they was talking to each other, you could, the chemistry was so there between Jeezy and his DJ, man. Shit, that was a special moment, man. They, 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 man, that was a crazy tag team right there. That was a, that was a super good tag team, him and his DJ, man. His DJ knew all the hits, knew all the lyrics, and it was just crazy, man. The energy was there, man. And shout out to, um, Young Jeezy DJ on that night, man, because he held shit down. He kept that shit live, man. It was, he definitely DJed that shit, did his thing on that, man. But overall, man, it was a fire battle, man. A lot of, a lot of intense shit, but I love how they ended it off for the culture with the So Icy song, man. I ain't, I ain't heard, I ain't listened to So Icy in so long, man. It, it sounds so fire when they played that on. They performed that shit for the last time. Like Jesus said, we're going to do this one more time for the culture. And I can't believe, man, in 2020, in 2020, we got um Jeezy and Gucci, man, performing so icy together, man, for all of us to see, man. Um, shit, man, both of them was clean, I ain't gonna lie, man. I definitely like Jeezy outfit more, man. Gucci was bragging about how much he spent with other, um, with white brands and shit. Nobody cared about that shit. Jeezy came through killing that shit. Was on his grown man shit, played all that real shit, the hits, 
The whole Jeezy had the whole home rocking. Gu- Gu- Gucci tried to, his people tried to make it seem like he was he was catching flames in the room, but it really wasn't like that though. Motherfuckers was singing along the Gu- um to um Jeezy shit. They was rocking with Jeezy shit. The whole room. A lot of them diss songs and that bullshit um Gucci was playing was all B side shit niggas never heard of before and we already know Gucci cannot rap no bars at all. Um, Lemonade, a lot of his fans want him to play that, man. Come on, man, at the end of the day, that didn't age well. We in 2020, man, a grown-ass man rapping about um, fucking lemons. Bar Simpson chains and ice cream sandwiches on his face, man. We way past that. And I, that's why I like to see the growth of Jeezy, man. Jeezy doing his thing. He on this whole nother level, man. Every time you see Jeezy, man, he ain't got more mature, uh, gained more wisdom, got more knowledge. And he just look like he just, just made it to another level. Like he, he evolving, man, on some real grown man shit, man. For real, man. But overall, it was a classic battle, man. A lot of haters was talking shit. Niggas like Freddie Gibbs. Shit, 50 was talking shit. Um, the, the the little dude from London who got the um the dildo tattooed on his forehead. I think um 20 Savage, 21 Savage. He was talking shit, but shit, man, Jeezy set all them motherfuckers up tonight. He killed that shit. And um, even though um Gucci disrespected his dead friend and all that, man, that shit don't mean nothing right now, man. That was dude was a grown man. He chose to run up in there, and then he got popped, man. He wasn't on his P's and Q's, man. You think Jeezy ain't gonna ain't gonna do no shit for the culture? Cause cause one the, one of his affiliates ran up in there and got popped. Man, that shit ain't got nothing to do with Jeezy, man. Dude should have came up in there and, and should have been better strapped up, been a, been better well equipped, man. That ain't got nothing to do with Jeezy. Jeezy handled that shit like a true player for real, man. But overall, it was a fire battle, man. Definitely was for the culture, man. This 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 was just a great night, man. This was a great night, man. Everybody was lit in that motherfucker. It was a fire, man. A fire night for hip hop, man. Um, Jeezy, Gucci, man, came together, made made some some classics. So um, tonight, man, made a classic moment tonight for the game, man. But like I said, man, Jeezy completely destroyed, dude. We can finally put all that barbershop Jeezy Gucci talk to rest, man. We seen what just happened, man. Jeezy came up in that did his thing, played them hits. Got that boy on up out of there and dropped a new album, Recession 2, all in the same night and dropped a new video with Rosé, all in the same night, man. So shout out to Young Jeezy, man. Keep doing your thing, man. The shit been going crazy, man. Jeezy versus Gucci, man. Jeezy just caught a body, man. Fat.